ABC Kinder Teach presents Beak and Alley Unlikely Friends, written by Norm Feuti. One. <sighs> Allie must be sleeping. Swoop, which means fly down quickly. Flap, flap. Feeboo, 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 feeboo. Hmm, I don't think Allie's gonna like all that noise that bird is making. May I help you? Oh, I didn't see you there. Clearly, which means obviously you didn't see me there. Sorry. What did you say? I said, may I help you? With what? You don't seem to know where you are. I know exactly where I am. I'm in the swamp. And that's what a swamp might look like. That doesn't look very nice to be hanging around in, does it? You're also standing on an alligator's snout. And the snout is the long nose and mouth of an animal. And not just any alligator. Mm, he seems a bit angry, doesn't he? A hungry alligator. Oh my, good thing I brought donuts. Donuts? Yes. I flew a long way to build a nest here, so I picked up some donuts for the trip. I got plain chocolate and jelly. Which one would you like? Oh, um, jelly please. One jelly donut coming right up. Ooh, he looks excited about getting that jelly donut. I'm all out of jelly. I'll take chocolate then. One chocolate donut coming right up. Hmm. Uh-oh. What did he say? Hmm. Oh, maybe he doesn't have a chocolate donut either. Let me guess. You're out of chocolate. Yes, I only have plain left. I'll have plain then. One plain donut coming right up. Uh-oh, there's only a half of a donut. He must have eaten the other half. That one's half eaten. It was a long trip. I was hungry. Do you still want it? Sigh. <sighs> yes. So, he wanted jelly. No jelly donuts. He wanted chocolate. No chocolate donuts. And now there's only one half of a plain donut. They're good donuts, aren't they? Mmm. -hmm. They're not half bad. Because he only had a half a donut, he said they're not only half bad. Ha! Huh, I see what you did there. Well, that's a good one. Which means he made a joke. A sense of humor which is being able to see things as funny, is important. It's what I look for in new friends. Hmm, I'm not so sure that Allie wants the bird as a friend. What do you think? I used to live next to a bird with no sense of humor. Never thought anything was funny. What do you get when you cross an elephant with a centipede? I told him jokes all the time, but he never laughed. A monster. Ha, 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 ha. So he said, well, what do you get when you cross an elephant and a centipede? And the answer was a monster, which isn't really very funny. At least he didn't think it was very funny. I didn't give up, though. I kept trying day after day. Knock, knock. Please stop. Until he moved away suddenly. Weird. For sale. Anyway, my name is Beak, and I'm new to 
the swamp. Maybe you and I could be... He disappeared. Allie disappeared. Oh, you know what? Tomorrow would be better for me to... So he's saying, I'll see you tomorrow. That's okay. No problem. Two. It looks like Allie is sleeping on a rock. Drive me nuts having to listen to that all day. Phoebe, Phoebe. Oh, what are you doing? Building a nest. We're going to be neighbors. Great. I don't think he's really happy about that. Phoebe. Why do you keep singing that song? I was born to sing. Well, can you please sing something else? No. Why not? You just said you were born to sing. I was born to sing. I was born to sing Phoebe. I'm a yellow-bellied Phoebe bird. They call us that because we have yellow bellies and sing Phoebe. So there's the yellow belly and of course he's singing Phoebe. Yes, I get it. So, what kind of alligator are you? A regular kind. Of course. Yes, I can see that. You look very regular. Which means he looks very ordinary, kind of plain. Nothing really is special about him. And what are regular alligators born to do? We're born to swim and to eat and to be alone. Gasp! What? Sub, that's the saddest thing I've ever heard. I'm really fine. Sniff. No, you're not fine. You're just being brave. But you will be fine because I'm going to be your friend. Whoa. Now, hold on. Better than that, I'll be your best friend. He does not look happy about that, does he? We'll do everything together. They're running along, feeling really good about each other. We'll go bike riding. They're riding a bicycle together, but look at only the alligators pedaling. We'll go to the movies. Those are for 3D watching of movies. We'll go on one of those baking shows. Where they make things on TV. We'll form a rock band. Mega Swamp is the name of the band. We'll solve mysteries. Like on Scooby-Doo. Stop, stop, stop. You are too much for me. I get that a lot. Did you ever stop to think I like being alone? No. Well, I do. You like being alone? Yes. All the time? Well, not all the time. See? So you do need a friend. Alligators and birds can't be friends. Why not? We have nothing in common. Sure we do. Name one thing. I'm waiting. I know. We were both hatched from eggs. Okay. Name two things. No, no, no. I proved we have something in common, so we're friends now. I didn't agree to that. But we'll have to finish our hangout later. This isn't a hangout. We're just talking. I need to finish building my nest. I'll see you at my nest warming party. Nest warming party. 
because he's making a nest. The bird's making a nest, and so he's invited him to a party after he gets his nest done. Three. Howdy, neighbor. You are invited to a party at my new nest. It's a nest warming party. When? Today. Oh, that bird really is too much. I don't want to go to his party, but I don't want to be rude either. Do I need to bring a gift? I barely know this bird. I don't even know what he likes. So he decides, I better go to this party just to be nice. This will do. So he grabs some flowers. I'll stay for 10 minutes, then say I have to go. So he walks, and all of a sudden he sees a bird floating down the river. What the? Like, what in the world's going on, is what he's thinking. Because he was going to go to the nest warming party, but the bird's not there. So what has happened? Bird, where are you going? Isn't your party today? It's been canceled or called off. Huh? I guess that solves my problem. I don't have to go to the party now. I wonder why he canceled, though. Or called it off. He seemed awfully sad. Well, it's none of my business. I'll just leave this by his nest and go back to my day. Oh, there's another bird there. Are you a friend of the Fibu birds? No. Then who are you? Nanya. Nanya. Nanya business. If you're not a friend of the Fibu birds, then what are you doing in his nest? He gave it to me. He gave it to you? Yeah? No. Get lost. I don't talk to alligators. <clears throat> I'm going to find out what's going on here. So he doesn't believe that the fee bird gave this bird its nest. So he's going to figure out what's going on. So Fibu bird is floating down on the log and all of a sudden there's bubbles and bleep, bump. Come with me. So Allie is taking the Fibu bird back to figure out what's going on with his nest. Is that bird the reason you canceled your party? Yes. He still looks crabby, doesn't he? That bird is a long-billed party pooper. They don't build their own nest. And a party pooper is someone who just ruins things for other people. They wait for a smaller bird to finish building one, then kick them out, leaving that bird's nest warming party officially pooped or canceled or called off. Well, that doesn't seem like a nice thing. So what's Allie going to do about this? Is he going to help him build a new nest? Hmm. Let's see. I'll just build another nest. It's fine. No, it's not fine. Oh, that's your nest. It's my nest now. Mind your own business, alligator. I'm making it my business because this Fibu bird is my friend. And when you steal from my friend, you might as well be stealing from me. And stealing from an alligator is a very bad idea. Go! So the bird's getting nervous. You know what? This is a stinky nest anyway. I don't even want it. It's so bad. As a matter of fact, this whole swamp is stinky. I'm out of here. There, you have your nest back. I knew we would be best friends. I didn't say we were best friends, and I only said we were friends because... Sigh. Fine. 
We're friends. We will have such good times together. I can't wait. I don't think he's that crazy about being the bird's friend yet. Phoebe, Phoebe. Nest, sweet nest. Sigh. And there's a balloon floating away from the party. He must have let it go. 